Hey there, Postal here. So today we are looking at the world's new cutest little plane. It's a TA-183. But first, first we're going to slog through the TA-152. Let's take a look at my last battle in the TA-152. And then uh, one of my first battles in the TA-183. Let's go. Okay, so this was the last TA-152 battle that I was in, and I've been testing out a lot of different options. I've set up my guns to where um, I don't fire all three at the same time, so I'll test out just firing one. Once I'm on target, I'll fire the two, um, if there's such thing as being on target with this plane. So I'm doing the narration afterwards. Uh, you know me, I like to um, I tend to like to do live battles get more of a feel for um, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Heck, it's been a few days since I've done this, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to de determine what I was thinking. There's a lot going on in the chat, too. Um, and well, with my uh, recording software, I can't quite read exactly what it is until I uh, um, render it. So enjoy whatever that conversation is. Um, I think somebody was trying to give me some helpful hints on this POS of a plane. Um, so one thing that a lot of people do is they'll tell me, well, you know, get good at the TA-152 and it'll help you out with a Horton. And like as I'm watching this video, like some of those bullets are like literally disappearing after like 200 feet. Like where'd they go? Um, anyway, I'm quite good at the Horton. Um, I really enjoy playing the Horton. I feel comfortable with getting the guns on target. If I'm missing shots, I feel like I can aim out further or aim in further, and I will be able to get those on target. The only time I feel comfortable with this particular plane is if something is going directly towards me, and sometimes when they're going away from me. Um, either way, they need to be going in a straight line, because if there's any kind of curve, um, you know, it's all kinds of issues. So, boosting up here, using my speed, uh, with this plane, you know, there is no maneuverability, it's minimal, you know, at least for a fighter of this type. Um, so I try to keep my speed, very much like I do with a heavy fighter, uh, which will come in handy when I get the TA-23, I believe. We'll see. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of hanging around the center here. <laughs> going for what I think I can go for. I purposefully um, try to go for things that are not turning. Uh, because I know that these guns aren't going to do what I want them to do. I've got a pretty strong start, right? And I'm feeling like this is going to be a really good game. Um, well, look at that. I've got like three kills in a row that were, um, you know, to expectations. I'm not um, expecting like a world beater plane here. I just would like that if um, I'm aiming further out, aiming further out, that I'll actually get some, some registers there. Uh, so there I was just firing two of my guns, seeing if I could get those two on target. Unfortunately, let a baddie get behind me. And, you know, I'm in a plane that really can't dogfight, so even versus something like uh, F2G or uh, Tempest, a Typhoon, you're not going to be able to dogfight. You really need to kind of speed away from them. So, right now it's pretty even battle. Uh, we're up three sectors, or we're up three sectors to two. Uh, each of us having a mining facility, uh, but us having the center. Now we're up four to one. Uh, but I'm afraid we're going to be losing this, so... And I suspect this is where I turn to crap in this plane, when I really need the freaking guns to hit. Um, I can't get them to hit. Do do do. There we go. Yay! Alright, so we finally did hit him. Seeing if I can flip around. I was paying attention to see, is he turning away or is he still coming for me? 
And again, getting a lot of good uh, hits. And I think it's about halfway into this battle. And that's when, uh, that's when my skill set starts to taper off. So I feel like we've got the center pretty well in hand. Um, let's go ahead and defend this garrison over here. Take out this ground pounder. Uh, man, I'm disappointed in myself. What the heck? Couldn't, I, I probably was uh, trying to hold down to get one last shot, but the 30s uh, were not reloading as quickly as I wanted them to. There we go, got him. Now we gotta head back to the center. And my bad typing skills. I can't read what I'm writing other than there's a bunch of W's there. Wow, Postal. Uh, good job there, buddy. Noob. Alright, so... I'm trying to get a couple hits on that multi-roll, but we're just gonna boost on past, right? We're gonna keep on keeping on. Um, you know, we're still up pretty significantly on points. Uh, so at this point, and I'm just going to keep on pushing through, there's not any support in the center here, and was something was catching up on me. Um, I assumed it was this heavy, and luckily it was this heavy because I was trying to turn and it wasn't, then I would have been toast. Um, let's see if we can get some shots on him. Thought he'd be moving up, so I was trying to aim further out. Got something hit, but it did like five damage. I don't don't know what uh, bullet from these guns does five damage, but whatever. Let's see if we can stay on target here. Going again, trying to go for things that are going in a relatively straight pattern. Gives me the ability to ah! to um try to get the guns on target right. Um, try to make those little adjustments that you'll get the shots on target. Uh, but I'm also noticing there's a hell of a lot of reds around here. And uh, man, that freaking 262 just wants me mad. But I'm going to burn up anyway. So I was hoping to get the center so that I could populate back in the center there. Uh, but we'll just have to deal with it. And. Yeah, we'll see what's up. So I can tell you, you know, in this plane, even if I had like a 20,000 personal point game, um, I would not want to keep this plane. It's just too inconsistent for me. Now, I've heard a lot of people out there really like the TA-152. Um, you know, they compare it favorably to a Horton. It's typically what I hear it compared to. Um, huge differences between those two planes. First and foremost, a lot more speed, or at least it feels more speed in the Horton. More altitude performance. Um, and yeah, you've got two guns instead of three. But those two guns tend to hit a lot more often than these three guns. Um, I think the best game I had in this game, in this plane, was maybe 12,000 personal points. Um, you know, a dozen frags or 13 frags. You know, I've gotten aces and Hortons, um, 18,000 and 20,000 personal point games. Um, hey, this, this we should be able to go for, right? It's a bomber. It's not moving very fast. And there we go. Jeez. Um, so I'm trying to defend our um, comms. Jeez, uh, the mining facility. Um, I was kind of talking over it at the time. But the reason I came over in this direction is because I wanted to make sure we kept that mining facility, because otherwise um, the game was going to be turning sour really quickly. Um, yeah, so 10,000 personal points, whoopity doo. Um, but more than that, just a frustrating plane. And this was one of my least frustrating games. So yeah, let's, um, let's head on back and we'll see my real-time reaction to this particular game. Oh my goodness, I hate this plane. I absolutely, this... Uh, so you know, I ragged on the LA-9, 
the I-250, the I-210, I can't remember a handful of other planes throughout the game that um, that I didn't like but weren't like the most terrible thing. Like I'll play the LA-9 any day, I just it's not a keeper in my opinion. Um, the I-250, I'd rather have an LA-9 over an I-250, but hey, an I-210 was just kind of bad, but none of them frustrated me the way that a TA-152 does. And what's funny is I haven't put a video up about, you know, like I did with a P-47, what was it, P-47B or whatever the tier 7 one was, or N I guess it was. Um, yeah, I put a video up and, you know, hey guys, need some help. I, I don't want any help with this because everybody's been trying to give me help and, um, you know, it doesn't seem to click with me. So, you know, I've tried alternating the guns. I did it a little bit on this this video. Um, aim out further, aim closer in, aim, you know, try to hit them when they're 3,000 feet away, try to hit them when, hit them when they're 1,000 feet away. Um, I am just glad that I am done with this plane because <sighs> this is like the most frustrating plane I've had to deal with in the game. Everybody's telling me, Oh, you know, not everybody, I can't say that, but people I've run into are telling me, oh, you know, you get good at this and you'll get good at the Horton. I'm good at the Horton. I'll take the Horton any day over this friggin' plane. Um, you know, you'd think with 230s and a Horton, you'd, you'd have even more issues. The guns actually hit in the Horton, uh, Horton. They don't hit so, they're so inconsistent in this particular plane um, that it, it just infuriates me. You know, I understand with any 30s, basically, in the game, with any 30s, you have to find that sweet spot, aiming further out, aiming further in, yada, yada, yada. There's no consistency with these guns um, at all. And I've got it set up for, um, you know, set up for accuracy. Like, I don't even know what more to do. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm done with this friggin' piece of crap. And now I go to another piece of crap in the TA-183. Um, but I get the feeling that at least, at least the guns aren't 30 mils of ridiculousness in that. Uh, like I said, I like 30s. I just did the LA-160, and that, that plane is perfectly good, perfectly fine. I like the key uh, 162s. Um, I really, really freaking like the Swift. Um, I like the Horton, Horton uh, 229 a lot. I hate this plane. I can't stand this plane. I'm so glad I'm selling it. So, <laughs> uh, I don't even care. I don't even want your comments about how I could be better in this plane. I don't care. I'm never going to get this. Well, I can't say I'm never going to get this plane again, but I am never not going to get this plane again for a very, very long time. <gasps> Sayonara, freaking TA-152. Look at that little plane. It's so cute. Yes, that's a tiny battle plane. All right, so we are in a tier nine battle. Uh, all garrisons, which is kind of a shame. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have something that I knew the heavies were going to be going to. Uh, you know, this plane. Uh, you know, it likes uh, like speeding up on the heavies. Hello, sir. It likes going after those heavies, likes going after those bombers. Get away from that dude. Get our 30 cals. 30 cals, oh my god, I've been playing that other plane too much. Get our 30 mils on target. Don't overheat. Even a little bit too far out, huh? And we overheated anyway. Cool story, bro. Let's um, get up to a decent altitude. So unlike the F6U, you know, this thing, um, obviously it's got different guns, but this thing has decent altitude performance as well. And not that the F6U's got terrible altitude performance, but this has noticeably better altitude performance. And on paper, you know, F6U is even worse than this, but I still love the F6U. Hello, bombers. 
but really this is a pocket heavy. Um, as much as I used to say that the um, the ME109 TL is a 262 light or a diet. Oh shenanigans. This is like a pocket version of that same plane. Same exact guns all the way through. Eh. Um, but you've got just enough maneuverability to do stuff like I just did. No, don't turn to me. Turn away from me. Make my life easier, could ya? Could ya, would ya? Nope, I turned too tight. Why is everybody turning towards me? Give me some more, give me some, uh, some help in knocking you guys out here. I'm trying to be a sneaky IL-40, huh? Keep our guns on target here, and he won't have a prayer. Unless he knocks out my hit points before I, uh, before I knock him out. Alright, let's, um, I guess we're gonna head over here to the center and just keep on defending the center. Got a bomber coming in, we can get him knocked out. It's TU-10 before the other bomber gets in here. But you know these freaking Russian bombers, Soviet bombers, excuse me. Um, can probably outmaneuver me, so need to make sure I get my guns on target pretty darn well here. Who's this guy? F2H. Dangerous, dangerous plane for sure. And he clearly just likes to zoom a zoom. All I like to do is zoom a zoom a zoom zoom and a boom boom. Oh, I'm just singing my god. Dang it! <laughs> Singing the song and not paying attention to what's going on in the game. Sneaky ass uh, IL-20, huh? <sighs> Shame on me. Let's see if I can go protect my ground pounder. Who are oh? I got a P-51H and an I-250. P-51H is the human. Thought I'd be able to kill him before the human even knew I was here, but uh, little did I know my plane, uh, you know, my aiming was as good as I thought it would be. Thank you, sir. Eh. Just a little bit more. Thank you. Using DOS boosting, going DOS faster. Malatos, is that, that's um, it's like the, the material that's on the outside of pills to help them swallow easier, right? No? Alright, well I tried. Um, so, I'm not particularly aiming for him, but I mean if he's coming back to me I need to make sure I get him. Somebody else got him, huh? Didn't see. Oh no, there he is. He's flying away. Their supremacy. Oh man, I should have been paying attention. Oh good, they flipped that other one anyway. G7W1. And what I like about this plane is you're just kind of cruising around like like you do in a heavy fighter. The biggest difference is if you need to maneuver a little bit more than you would in a heavy fighter, um, you know, you can actually do that. And so if you're playing it like you play a heavy fighter, again, like I play the F6U, and you get yourself into a situation where you're like, oh crap, I need to, oh never mind, I can outmaneuver because I'm not actually in a heavy fighter. You got heavy fighter guns, you got heavy fighter speed, You've got that ace in the hole of having, eh, okay, 
uh, maneuverability, right? Nobody's gonna say this plane's ridiculously maneuverable by any means. Um, it's just maneuverable for a heavy fighter. Man, I sure wish my guns were uh, on target there, but that was on me, not on my guns. Don't blame it on the guns, blame it on the pilot. fast here. Got that pneumatic assist on. Helps me turn when I need to turn. Oh, well, hopefully he thanks me for killing him before the squall line. Uh, try not to friggin' crash, you tool. ground pounder over here somewhere. There you are. Seafang, huh? I know it's telling me to go for the bomber, but really I think I should be going for this guy just to help keep my guy alive. Ugh, way too much going on over here. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on, mainly because I can. Slow down a little bit. Ugh, don't get outmaneuvered by a 211. Sad day when that happens. Coolio! Let's go over here and defend a little bit. That's all we need to do at this point, is just defend a little bit and we'll be fine. Got that sea fang, got why not. I don't know, why not? I do like the P-51H. But not enough to let it kill me. Yep, what am I doing? It is a sea fang. It might as well be a frickin' dogfighter at this... Oh, I didn't... I did not boost out far enough, did I? Cool. Doesn't seem to matter. Boosted out just enough. Was able to hit the brakes and turn around. So let's get our boost on here, see if we can get to the center. Only got three players left. And going for the heavy fighter just because I know I can stick with it and I can outmaneuver it if needed. And that would be game, I would think. Coolio! Always do like a cousin dub. And I'm absolutely enjoying the TA-183. So much more than the TA-152. Not even looking back. Alright, so we got 17 frags there. It's a shame we died because we could have gotten a Marseille, but whatever. Um, top on the team. Had some, oh, I, cool. We had a 260 on the team. Ran into these guys pretty often. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm actually built to take both of them down. Um, you know, I've got more speed than the P51H and I've got more maneuverability than the F2H so was able to use my strengths versus both of them uh, obviously got that Kozadub at the end there yay I'm really really thoroughly enjoying this plane um, and I mean what's what's not to like about it <laughs> well probably a lot um, and uh, not a lot of people like this plane from what I've heard a lot of people like the TA-152 a lot more in this plane what I like about this plane is the guns actually hit the target. It's amazing, I know, back up everybody, it's not a lie, you saw it with your own eyes. Um, but I think the key is play this little, uh, this little yellow little bean, like a, uh, like a heavy fighter. Uh, I've got it built for speed, screw the maneuverability. 
The only thing you have to outmaneuver is going to be heavies and some of the less maneuverable multi-rolls, and you can do that no matter what anyway. So build up your speed so you can stick with those pain in the butt heavies. Uh, things like 262s, um, heck that F2H I could stick with because because um, I was mindful of how I was attacking. If you play this plane like you would the world's smallest heavy fighter, sorry I just knocked into the desk there. If you play this plane like you would the world's smallest heavy fighter, um, you're going to absolutely love it. It has you know, it's got the same 30s that you get on the 262. Um, the top guns on the 262, they're the stock guns or the mid-range guns on the HG2. Um, I guess they're the guns on the 329. That's swell. That'll make that uh, plane a little bit easier. Um, the engine, same deal with the engine. You're getting this with the, um, well, the other planes that I've already got, apparently. So the 212, it's on the 212. This is the top engine on the HD3? What? Seriously? So this is a tier 10 engine that you've got in this thing. Granted, it's only one, but you weigh half as much, probably less than half as much as a 262 HD3. The only thing that had to be researched was the um, airframe. But I'm, I'm having an absolute blast with this plane. Um, you know, VBAT told me that it would, if, I, if I liked the... Um, if I liked this kind of play style, that I'd like this plane. And he was exactly right. Uh, where I found the TA-152 frustrating. And don't get me wrong, I like the Horton 229. Can't stand the TA-152. Um, this this is uh, just absolute pleasure. I guess it's, a, it's like cruising around in a Cadillac. Or I guess maybe a Mercedes. Um, you know, just do-do-do-do-do, cruising around. Oh, opportunity, blap, 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 dead. Cruising around some more. It's very much like playing in a maneuverable heavy fighter. So, and my cat agrees. All right. So, are you enjoying the TA-183? Is this a plane that um, you got to and you you were like, yes, this is uh, this is what I wanted it to be, or were you are you pining for the days of the TA-152? Uh, tell me what you think. I know I am definitely not looking forward to the FW-252, no matter what I do. Uh, yeah, I have literally heard nobody say anything nice about that plane. Um, I'm sure Rado will say something nice about it because that's what Rado does. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go pet my cat, which is not a euphemism for anything. Have a great day.